Hey guys, Deathmog91 here. So, I'm back for some more. Actually, I'm not back for some more Final Fantasy 9. I was just about to start saying that. I'm actually going to start Final Fantasy 7 up. Now, if you guys have never seen Final Fantasy 7, just search YouTube. You'll find thousands and thousands of videos of this game. This is actually considered to be the best Final Fantasy by majority of people. My personal opinion it's one of the best but it's not the best I still gotta go either six or nine I go back and forth it just depends on what I'm more in the mood of playing but honestly seven still has a good place in my heart this was actually one of the first actually I never owned this game until I got a PS2 um, I had actually played it prior and got some pretty far at my friend's place. Thank god memory cards could hold a lot of data back then. Unlike uh, Super Nintendo cartridges. <laughs> Which you could have two to three save files. Maybe more if you're lucky. But yeah. Infamous Final Fantasy 7. Now. This game goes for about $10. On the PlayStation Network. So. If you got an extra 10 I, well actually 20, I would say buy a PSN card. Now, I'm actually going to start a new game on all this. There's something I have to do at the beginning, because this always pisses me off. Just because of how every other Final Fantasy is set up. You'll understand this once I do it. But, it's not that big of a deal for a lot of people. But I still love to I still change it every chance I get. Oh wow, looks like I'm actually recording in 1080p now. Well that's cool. I wonder if I can I can render in 1080p. It's possible. So yeah. Uh let's see. I've got some things I have to take care of today. Well, today is Wednesday. So yeah. I I'm gonna go through and probably have Grand Theft Auto uh, 4 episode 1 colored episode 2 colored and black and white up probably tomorrow uh, today but yeah I'm probably gonna play for about an hour so this is gonna be a long video but I don't know I'll see how far I get and when I decide to get off now my voice is gonna be kind of low lower than normal just because of the fact that um, my mom's asleep, and yes, I still live with my well, I live with my mom, but not my dad. Let's just say things didn't work out with him, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, this game is almost two decades old. It's gonna hit its um, 25 year anniversary in nine years so actually yeah it's 15th an anniversary was last year so, yeah god damn it looks so much better on the uh, monitor than it does on the uh, TV but I think the only reason why is because it's showing a smaller image of the video but yeah this was the first real RPG a lot of people played. Okay. So configurations. Stereo custom. Okay. That's all I have to do. Oh, whoops. Uh, you know what? Gotta go active. And... Yeah. 
Yeah, give it a little more depth. Make it look a little nicer. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that you can't use your analog stick. And, well, analog sticks in Final Fantasy VII, which honestly I wish when they went through and uh, released it for the PlayStation Network, they would have added that in. Not like it would have taken more than like 10, 15 minutes to program into the game. But, unfortunately, a lot of people are still used to using D-pad, that analog sticks were very rare at the beginning, so yeah, this game is a long game, so yeah, there's that. Ah. To be honest, I wasn't even sure if I was going to start playing this today, but I have just, I'm in the mood to start playing this, this game again. So, his name is Cloud. Now, Cloud's Cloud. Nothing wrong with that. It's better that <laughs> we don't know your name. But there's not much we can do. So, long story short, the Mako Reactor is, oh that's Barrett, he's a big tough guy, who's a bit of a softy, <laughs> you'll find that out later. Okay, so, man, this is still stunning for its time, you gotta think, this game is 16 years old. And, yeah. We just gotta go through, follow him. Okay, everybody's through. And we're gonna have a couple, we're definitely gonna have random encounters. So, yeah. Now, I've got magic, but, to be honest, I don't like to use magic. And, yeah. So... Actually, what do I even have? Oh, ice and bolt. So, ice is ice. There's no... Ice is also better known as blizzard. And... Light, uh, bolt is also known as lightning. And honestly, I prefer lightning only. So you don't go, you go, don't go where the fat guy went. Go where the other two went. Now... All you do is just go through. <laughs> Not after what I have the work I did for Shinra. Yep. So Mako is a form of energy. Let's just leave it at that for now. But yeah, uh, nobody trusts him yet. Well, that's just kind of how things go. Jesse and up deciphering the code. Now, there's actually an item over here. I, if I remember correctly, I think it's Phoenix Down. Yep. Shows you how much I've played this game. Uh, <laughs> but it has been a while. Now, I actually still have a save file from when uh, one of the original files, actually my friend ended up having, ended up having, uh, all characters, I think, level, not all, well, almost all characters, level 99, every material was maxed out, had all, okay, well, material is the way you use magic, so, yeah, I'm assuming a lot of you guys already know all this stuff, so, most of the stuff you guys already know. Uh, but yeah, still a great game. I can't believe I'm actually playing through this. <laughs> God, I'm just thinking that really, how often do you sit down and start 
such an amazing game. Although it can be a little laggy. Now I actually have this game, Black Copy, still. Now, if you wonder what I mean by Black Copy, basically, it's just, uh, it's just a, it's just one of the first prints. It might not be the very first print of the game, but it's not the greatest hits. Now, personally, I own, I don't like owning greatest hits. For the main reason, uh, is just because greatest hits are worthless, even if it's a great game. I would rather have a black, all 100% original than, uh, greatest hits. Although I will settle for greatest hits until I can get them black copied. So yeah, there, that's really all there is. But yeah. <laughs> this game is gonna be easy for the first part. I remember uh, there was something a little weird. Okay. Uh, it's actually possible to die on this first boss that would come up. Only reason why I know this. Okay, so Jesse still says the same thing. It's because I've actually had that happen to me. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I think I go. Yeah, I do. I have. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm still trying to get used to the controls. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with how my channel, well, my channel's actually been growing. So yeah, if things go well, I should have hopefully like a thousand subscribers by, I don't know, mid middle of summer? If things go well and I can start boosting my subscriber rate up pretty substantially, because right now I only have a little over 500, and I would say, uh, let's see, it's basically February. By April, I want to have 750 subscribers. Now, can we make this a reality? If you, I would, I would love to make this a reality, but let's see what happens. And I'm not gonna hold, host any gimmicks, like subscriber contest, because you know what? I've done that in the past, too, and I had literally had one go for over a year, which I actually ended up canceling. Ah, uh, so yeah. Damn, I hate that. It takes a second for the memory card to load in. So yeah, I might not have any games saved on this memory card, but I think my other two have memory. Yep, 99. Ridiculous. Yeah, I went back to her and started playing through a while back ago. I haven't actually played through the game in a long time. Ah, uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just happy things. My channel's definitely grown. What? Oh yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, let's see how far I can get uh, before oh, before April. Yeah, if we can reach the goal of, uh, if I can reach the goal of 750 by April, that'd be amazing. I think that's half, that's a little over half of my subscriber base right now. Because, as of right now, I have 505 subscribers as of the time I'm recording this video. 
so I need 245 more subscribers. Assuming I don't lose any either. So, we're gonna get into some things. Uh, Bolt's actually really effective here. Now, this boss is actually, if you have never played the game and you really didn't ha have any experience, you're gonna have you might have some trouble at the beginning. But yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Scorpion tail. Okay. Uh, when the tail's up, you do not want to attack it. This time you want to defend and heal. So, if you look down below, Barret has his uh, limit bar full and his flashing colors. So this is limit limit break, which basically is his special. Now, you can have two specials per level, and there are ways of increasing this. That's really what I remember. Uh, I think you have to you have to kill X number of enemies, and you have to use the limit break X number of times. And also, when your limit break pops up, oh great, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Um, you. I uh, shouldn't. Actually, wait, it's gonna be. It's, God damn it, it's gonna go through. Uh, let's, okay, so kill number of enemies, use a different amount of time. Then you go through, you can get through three levels this way. Uh, now, there's a fourth level. The fourth level basically just states you get. Uh, your ultimate move, which unfortunately is a bitch to get. So just be warned if you're gonna buy this game and you're gonna go through and play it. Okay, the tail's down, so now we're safe to attack again. So, yeah. Okay, so there it goes. That's kind of so we're at that. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know, cool, so we got a new weapon for Barret. Now, unlike Final Fantasy IX, uh, things happen differently in this game. So, okay, 10 minutes to detonation, trust me, there's more than enough time. So, go through, equip the assault gun. Now, I'll explain the slots once I get out of here. Because that's where we'll, we'll be at. Uh, you can go through and save. But honestly, I don't really think it matters. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, I mean, we've already done 20 minutes and we're but we're still within the very beginning of the game. So yeah, I don't see how anybody could beat this game in seven, almost eight hours. But that's just me, and... Yeah, I mean, without a lot of glitches, setups... Yeah. Or without a time reset. And I think it was done on the PC version, too. So, no shame there. <laughs> uh, that whole, that time thing, refer back to Final Fantasy IX's last video, latest video, which should be up prior to this. But yeah, this one's going to be a bitch to render, I already know that. Just because it's going to be a long ass video. I might only do half an hour. But yeah, I'm not going to bother recording any more Grand Theft Auto tonight, just because yeah, it's like 12.30, 1am-ish, so I don't need to be up too, well, I'm going to be up to like 3 anyways, but that doesn't mean I want to be recording the whole time. Uh, but yeah, come on guys, I know you can take care of this little punk. <laughs> but yeah, this game's still, it's easy, but it's still got a good challenge. 
Now, eventually, I'm well, I'm planning on going through and uh, trying to play through every Final Fantasy oh, with the original consoles. So I I'm doing this on the PS3, but I own this on the PS1 and. I'm playing, it's a backwards compatible PS3, so this is fine. So, uh, no really, like, remakes. I wouldn't call this a remake, I'd call this a port. Difference between a remake and a port? Basically, a remake is a game that's just been remastered 100%. So, look at, uh, Halo, Combat Evolution, and uh, combat and uh, evolution anniversary. The anniversary is a complete remake, but it does have the option of going through with the original graphics, which I honestly love that little factor. Not many, I uh, not many gamers do that. I mean, not many gamers, not many game companies do that. As far as I know, it's a little bit of an Easter egg, but I like it. I like it a lot. It actually makes things a whole lot easier uh, if you're doing that kind of thing. So let me see. Uh, trying to get a K. Okay, my audio is good. I was just checking real quick. My audio is just about in sync to where everything's at. Because sometimes the audio can be in sync, sometimes it can be really off. And it can be a bitch. So, uh, yeah. Realistically, you can actually walk this whole thing. And you have time. If you haven't figured out the run button, you have time. So, yeah. Um. Okay. Get her to decipher the code. Get him to decipher the code. And... We got five minutes to spare. Well, oh, five minutes and twenty-five seconds to spare. So yes, you can actually walk this, and you'll be fine. Okay, so big explosion. Boom, baby, boom. I guess boom goes the dynamite. It's funny that video was not that funny. I don't see why. It got such a big thing. Yeah. Well, I guess the whole Mako thing will get explained later in the game. Now, I'm actually going to go through and also play. Once I'm done with this game, I am playing the sequel on the PS2. I'm not going to play the prequel because, honestly, my computer can't handle the emulator. And, plus, I actually don't have a copy of the game right now. Uh, but I should have that, uh, pretty soon. But that's just me. Well, I, I go through and I can buy up thousands of games, uh, hundreds of games at a time, and not really care. Now, there's actually a Loveless book. Little fun trivia. I've seen it on eBay before, but I'm not gonna buy it. Excuse me, flower girl. What happened? Uh, tell her to get out of here. It's not safe. You didn't hear the big explosion. So, there's, I think there's a total of two items in this area. Yep. Okay, so this is an item right here. It's just a potion. Okay, I thought there was a second item, but... No. Okay, so there's only one item. Whatever. Okay, so... Actually, now's a good time. Okay, cool. Your HP and all that is full. Uh... Go ahead and fight them. You're gonna need all the experience you can get. Oh yeah, so... I'm happy. I still like this game a lot. I mean, it was—it's st still part of my child. It was still part of my childhood, 
and there's not too many games that you can actually go back through from your childhood and play. Now, there's a lot of games nowadays you can just play and, you know, you're good, but still. What the? Uh, okay, keep running. Shit. Well, I guess I'm gonna fight three or five soldiers. I think it's three. But yeah. Now, there's one thing I hate. Uh, in this game, to use, uh, to use magic on more than one character, enemy, you have to go through and have an all materia. But, that's just gonna get explained a little bit later. The whole materia thing is, basically, it's your form of magic. Now, unfortunately, for the first couple rounds of the, well, for the first section of the game, Oh, you do get AP, okay. So, AP goes to, uh, your, uh, what, your materia. But I'm not 100% sure if you actually get it during the beginning because of, uh, the option you can't select. So, that's the one thing that sucks. Now, the only reason why I'm fighting all these guys is because of, uh, the fact is, I do not. I want experience. You can obviously run, but the same shit's gonna happen, so you might as well fight and take experience. But yes. Okay, you're dead. It's nice that these guys are basically one hit kills. So, it's worth the time, because you do get some experience. But yeah. So, technically I could fight all eight of these guys, and I'd be fine. That's just how badass Cloud is. But, let's be more badass and jump onto a moving train. Now, how many guys can jump onto a movie train and not shit themselves? I know how, how I would never do that. Because more than likely, you're going to fuck up. Well, unless the train's going pretty slow. So yeah, Wedge, Cloud never came. Big. Oh, Bigs. I wonder if he's related to Bigs the Cat. Uh, no way. Jesse. <laughs> okay. Little footsteps up top. So, do you think Cloud's gonna fight? to the end of it for avalanche how the hell would I know tell her mind reader <laughs> if it wasn't such a screw up hey bear what about the money uh, no, I know sorry so yeah bear ends up funding all this activity but it's not cheap <laughs> shit Looks like I'm a little late. Damn right, you're late. Oh. Come halt in it. I wonder, did they remove all the language? That's how long it's been. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, this has been edited a little bit. <laughs> Uh, so the main thing that this has been edited on was originally, now, I might go, I'm not going to go through and pop in the original version, they went through and censored out every cuss word, uh, in the game, but now they've gone through and, uh, put it back in, I guess, so that's a cool thing, which honestly I completely forgot, but... Like I said, it's been a while since I've actually played. And yeah, now I can tell you about those uh, mods uh, that you'll see like Seth Roth in your party. Now, Seth Roth is a character that's going to pop up later in the game. And he's a big part. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah. This is my house. Make yourself at home. Okay, so talk to Jesse. This is really the only way to expand the, uh, to, well, not to expand, to continue the plot. And to be honest, it's kind of cool, but it's still kind of boring. Just shows you the whole structure, how big Midgar is. Uh, There's eight reactors in total. Well, now there's technically seven since we just blew up a reactor. Each town used to have a name, but no one remembers in Midgar. Well, said we're each by sector. That's pretty sad. So, it's gonna show the route that we're on. Main support. And yeah, each checkpoint and ID sensors. You can check that ID card identification cards and background on each shit wow that's something I would want to crash oh yeah of course you're gonna use fake IDs you wouldn't want the guys to bust ya speak of the devil okay okay so now it's time to move well, almost time to move up. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you can see the surface. This city don't have no day or night. If <laughs> oh my god, that's sad that it's the whole uh, city's covered. But yeah, um, uh, once uh, once I get done with this stuff, uh, this game, like I said, I'll do the sequel. Now, okay, so. They did keep some of the censored in. But, yeah, they added some stuff back in. Uh, the prequel, which is Final Fantasy Crisis Core, a uh, 7 Crisis Core, I don't know if I can get it to work on an emulator. Sure, if I can figure out how to get it to record through a PSP, uh, that'd be even better. But, Unfortunately, I've got well, uh, I've got a lot to do before that. Now, the sequel to this game is actually a lot of fun, and it's not your typical Final Fantasy. Now, I actually still have this game sealed. Now, you're gonna think, wait, you have this sealed, and you're gonna open this game. Might not be worth a ton, but it's still a Final Fantasy. PS2 title sealed. Well, I actually have two copies of the game when it's open. I actually lost the open one forever and I actually ended up trading it for it online with some Yu Gi Oh cards. Yes, I used to play Yu Gi Oh, if you didn't know. Not that big of a deal. So yeah, I traded this uh, the cards for the, uh, this game. And I don't plan on ever opening this game because it's. I don't think it's worth a lot, but it's still just one of those cool items to say, hey, I have this game brand new steel, uh, sealed. Now, there's a handful of titles that's right now I want to go through and pick up uh, still sealed while, when I, while I can. But yeah. Uh, most of these titles still aren't that expensive, but I do see the prices going up. Now, you could either go over there, or I'm actually going to go through and save, and I think I'm actually going to call this uh, part over. Damn, you kid, move. Unfortunately, that was one of the downsides about this game. There are characters that don't want to move. I think the save was in here. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Yeah. Ah, everybody's sick of hearing the news. At least I thought that's where the save was. I could be wrong on that still. But the save's in this area. Okay, look how small that is. I know, I'm basically just wait, waiting for the save to pop up, which... <laughs> shit. Avalanche blowing up that shit. Well... <laughs> I guess I'll go down and I guess I'll have to continue the story. I thought I could save right there. And I remember that there was a way to jump. Like if you did it right. You were able to jump off. Instead of having to go downstairs. But. That might have only been for that little section. Yeah. Don't worry about buying new weapons yet. Your weapons will be fine. Okay. So let's go ahead and head in. This is your tab. This is the tavern that you go to when you're in t here. I ain't Papa. Now we got one of our favorite characters, Merlin. Aren't you gonna say anything to Cloud? Here's Tifa. Uh, honestly, <laughs> she's still considered to be one of the favorite. Uh, girl characters from Final Fantasy. And yeah, for PS1 era, and I think that was all hand drawn, that's really amazing. Uh, but you gotta think, PS1 era games still had their charm. And Barrett was just shooting at somebody. <laughs> That's Barrett's daughter. Chew. Get in here. Yep, so... Now obviously that goes downstairs. But yeah, what can you do? You can either try and take off or continue the story. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yep, well, we're in a bar, so we may as well get a drink. Now, guys, if you're underage, I do not recommend drinking. I am legal. I am 21, so legally I can drink. Uh, but honestly, I don't like to drink. That's a little fun fact. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of this game, well, there's stuff like this that, honestly, it's just boring to me. But, I think a lot of people would agree. So, I'm not going to stop this until I find a save point. Because I don't want to have to redo this whole part. Now, I could have easily stopped uh, back before we had the reactor blow up and all that fun stuff. But, no, I'm not going to. Uh, but, yeah. So... Oh, I never noticed that's a sin. Okay, so I don't know why your cable company would say sin. But, whatever. Uh, if it's supposed to be Shinra, I don't know why the hell you'd still go Shin. Or Sin. Okay. Wait, Cloud. Shut up. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just want. He wants the money. And it's funny. Cloud's one of the only characters that. Well, actually. A lot. I thought he didn't really talk. But he does. Um, well, Final Fantasy 
is has been known for some characters that don't ever talk and yeah I don't know how the hell I could forget that he of course he talks but yeah uh, some characters in Final Fantasy never actually t spoke a single word and they're considered to be some of the best characters uh, I'm just trying to think of a case where that actually happened. Um, yeah, okay, I can't. Well, I know, what, like, Chrono Trigger, that was the case. Um, but yeah. Final, yeah, the Terror talked, of course. Uh, I don't remember about Final Fantasy 1, but I haven't played through it in such a long time. Well, actually, technically, I've never actually beat Final Fantasy 1. I got pretty far into the game, and there was just one area. I could not figure it out to save the life of me. Because I kept ending up, uh, I kept ending up fighting the same four bosses beat them kept getting stronger but it's like what the hell do I do now I was in like I was in limbo in one sense but yeah I can't believe we go to the childhood scene <laughs> Cloud's got a ponytail that's funny but yeah good so, yep Sephiroth first time you really hear about him now, unfortunately, we won't see any. We won't see him for a little while, but we will eventually, and we will see him again and again. Well, that was a little bit of a spoiler alert, but considering how old this game is, it's not much of a spoiler alert. Really, if you haven't seen this game before. I'd really recommend playing through this game if you can, if you have a PS3. If you have a 360, unless your 360 has been modded and has emulators on it, or you can use an emulator to run this game, or you buy the PC version, you're out of luck otherwise. Or if you have a PSP and you have it hacked, which you can have it on. Uh, Vita, you can have this game on. Now, but you have to have the Vita hacked, I think. And you'd have to have a PS3 to run it on more likely, but I could be wrong about that. So there's a lot of ways of doing this. I'm pretty sure you could even find a way for your phone or a tablet. But it'd be a little more tricky with your phone slash tablet, I think, to play this game. Now, I know somebody went through and made a port on the NES, all in like Chinese. Somebody was that much of a fan. But yeah. Okay, Barrett. Yep, yeah. so even though this game is being recorded in 1080, well, this footage is being recorded in 1080p, unfortunately, it's. That seems low. I thought I gave 2,000. Um, okay, there's the 3,000 joke. Uh, it's best it can resolution. Uh, best resolution this can come out is 480p. Just because of uh, how this game was designed. You gotta remember, this was designed back in the beginning of the PS1 era. It was about, actually, yeah, early PS1. So, yeah, uh, it was 97, so PS1, I think, came out in 95. So let's go. We're gonna head to sector five. 
I'll fill you in on the train. So, before I do that, uh, I'll give you that material you found. Teach me how to use it. Yeah, <laughs> you wanted it. Okay, I'll ask Jesse later. Put you in charge of the materia. <laughs> okay, cool. So now we got the materia system. Uh, okay, cool. So now we're gonna go back to the weapon shop, and they live. Leave Marlene, who is a child, in charge of a liquor store, a pub, a bar, a club. Okay. Now, where's the FBI? Where's all the government bullshit? If this was in the U.S., not only would this place, well, this place would be shut down in the first five minutes. Actually, I'm going to give it to Eris. Uh, not Eris, uh, Tifa. Eris is another character that will come in later. Much later. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, you can actually go... There's the entrance. Uh, another slow day, okay. So you can actually buy items from this guy. Yes, we buy, we sell, we buy, 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 I don't know why, I'm not gonna do that for copyright reasons, so... Oops, I bought two. Uh, so actually, it's probably good about two. Okay, materia, give beer a fire, and I'll give him ice. Since unfortunately they can't use any, uh, well they can only have five. We well, can only have five materia slots selected. It's not worth it to give anybody else. Yeah, wait a minute. You can't just walk out of the box. <laughs> so. I don't have to buy that. Grenades help later. And do I have anything worth really selling? We can sell ethers, which I wouldn't do. Uh, stats, who's got the weakest defense? Okay, 27, 2, 28, 25. Okay, so we're going to give it to Tifa. And when you do this, it automatically brings you into the item selection. <laughs> My friend is a formal teacher. So... <laughs> Damn, man, just forget about it. You gotta pay the kid. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna talk to that. Now the door's open, and you got the dog. How do you say? So, yep. <laughs> That's actually a really useful thing. If your game ever freezes, that automatically reset the game, which unfortunately uh, just has happened to me before where I've had to reset the game. Now, the funny thing is, almost every single Final Fantasy will ha actually has that little reset code, and actually almost all the school. Uh, square games do so. Yes, I am not gonna bother talking to all these guys because I know what to do already. So, we've got about an hour long video. I'm gonna call it a night just because I can. So, yeah, guys, I hope you like the introduction to Final Fantasy 7. Uh, this is episode one. If you guys like this, you guys please give me a like comment down below what you guys think have you guys ever played this game before will you guys play this game and what's your best memory of the game if you have played this game i would like to actually know okay guys i hope you enjoyed remember rate comment subscribe and
Peace.